it's gonna be a big month for real for real <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. How are y'all doing? We are here. Before we get started, you already know the virus. Oh, my, my daughter was stretching out my shirt. I got a one-year-old baby. But, and five more kids. But, before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Like, like, like. Let's get the video over 300 likes. Let's do it right now. Look at that like count. Are we at 300? Make it happen. All right. February is a week away and the Nintendo Switch has some bangers. Big, big games coming in February. So for this video, we're going to talk about <coughs> the biggest releases coming to the Nintendo Switch in the month of February. And we're getting started with the game you see right here, Blue Fire. Blue Fire, the game looks pretty dope. A 3D action adventure game, and I like the art style. The art style is very reminiscent of Wind Waker, of Zelda Wind, um, Wind Waker, and the game launches February 4th. So we are a little over a week away from this game launching, and so Blue Fire, February 4th, Go look at some trailers, look up this game, give the game a look. You might like it, then pick it up. Face challenging platforming, look at that, wall jumping. Oh, dodging lasers, swords. Now, I'm probably gonna pass on this game just because of the other games that are coming out that I know I'm gonna be picking up. I'm going through my backlog currently on my Switch, but this game does, does, does look dope. The next game, Little Nightmare. 2 Little Nightmares 2 comes out on the Switch February 11th and this game looks dope. It's it's just a unique I like the art style. The art style looks unique. It looks like a well polished game too. Um like you're sneaking around mysterious, but the game looks cool. So Little Night Nightmares comes out February 11th, February 11th, and then the game of all games for February. Even if Nintendo didn't wasn't releasing any other games in February, this game alone warrants you making sure you have a Switch for the month of February. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury launches on February 12th, two days before Valentine's Day. Dope, dope, dope game. I beat this game on the Wii U. Even if it didn't have the Bowser's Fury aspect, I'll probably rebuy this game just because the game is so fantastic, so phenomenal. Platforming, no game nails platforming like Nintendo. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, for example, I just played Sackboy A Big Adventure on my PS5. Dope game, creative game. But when you're controlling Sackboy, it isn't as precise as Mario. Mario nails controls. And the game has online multiplayer for the first time. Definitely going to be playing this with the sponsors from beginning to end. The game just looks fantastic, phenomenal, and we are getting a whole new world. Bowser's Fury. <sighs> just looks dope, man. It just looks dope. Um, this looks like a hybrid between Mario 3D World and Mario Odyssey. This whole Bowser's Fury, Mario goes Super Saiyan and um, turns huge. 
You got Bowser Jr. helping you. You got Cat Shines. Nintendo just like, let's just throw everything in this game. And so some of everything is in this game, but the game does look fantastic, dope. Day one, easy, easy. February 12th, Super Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury. And then, and then we have Persona 5 Strikers coming in February 23rd. February 23rd, Persona 5 Strikers now. I have to admit, I never played Persona 5. And I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of the Misu running around games, even though I love Age of Calamity. Uh, just because I'm such a big Zelda fan, the story was phenomenal. And playing as the champions, please, Zelda. I know we're talking about Persona, but we're talking about Zelda right now. Please, Nintendo, keep that story arc going for uh, Breath of the Wild 2. We want the champions back, bro. You can't kill off D um, Daruk, uh, Ubosa. Come on, bro. Those are two main ones. You can sort of probably kill off the other two. Huh? But um, Persona 5 Strikers, I'm probably going to pass on this game. But the game does look lit, especially if you're a Persona fan. You'll definitely, definitely probably enjoy this game. Next game. When this was announced, this put a smile on my face. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrections coming February 25th. I had this game on the NES. I didn't play the Super Nintendo one though. But the NES one, tough as nails. And it looks like this game is living up to that legacy. Um, I like the art style. They did update the um, artwork. Um, but it's just a fun run and gun 2D platforming action type game. You are going to die, die, die in this game. But the fun will be worth it. Definitely going to be picking this up on my Switch. Comes out February 25th. And the next game. I'm a little torn with this game. Because this game looks dope. But because of the game that's coming out right behind it. All right, this game is called Hellpoint, and it comes out February 25th, um, an act 3D action game. It looks dope. It looks dope. I was checking out the gameplay. I didn't even know this game existed until I was doing research for this video. Not really research, but looking up the games in February for this video, and I was like, this is like a cool, cool, cool game. Um, comes out February 25th, Hellpoint. Go look it up. Check out the trailer on it. The combat looks cool. Um, just looks like a cool game. But my only thing about this game is the game. I'm not going to have time to beat this game. Because Bravely Default 2 comes out February 26th. If there's two games to get in February for the Switch, in my opinion. Mario 3D World and... Bravely Default 2, just because I am a fan of old school, turn-based JRPGs. And I love what they did with the characters. Check out, they're going to show the characters right at the end. Of, this, is the, this was the reveal trailer, bro. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, snap. Oh, snap. And so I like the art style. Bravely Default 2, love the first, everything about the first game was phenomenal except for the final boss battle where he had to re keep redoing the same boss battle over and over and over. Who in their right mind thought of that for the first game? But I can't wait for this. the next game, Bravely Default 2, February 26th and rounding out the month of February. I might pick up this game, bro. Retromania Wrestling. I grew up, in my opinion, during the best wrestling era. When it was the WWE, you had the Legion of Doom, Jake the Snake Roberts, um, Ultimate Warrior. My dad used to take us to all the wrestling matches when we were a kid, to the Miami Arena when they came to Miami. Oh man, of course, Hulk Hogan. You had a Roddy Roddy Piper. You had Andre the Giant. Bro, that was when wrestling was epic. 
Um, but I, because of that, I was a huge fan of the games too. Um, the NES, we do have pro wrestling. The pro wrestling game on the NES, that game is low-key fire. That, uh, that game is dope. That's one of my favorite all-time wrestling games, actually. But then when the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games came out, they were lit. Genesis did have real, one real bad wrestling game. It was a WWF game, too. But then they started to hit their stride, and the games were just great. Um, on the Nintendo 64, um, and I think after the Nintendo 64 is when I really stopped playing wrestling games. I never got into the WWE wrestling games. I got the one on the Switch that was like 8 frames per second. That was a mistake. But um, this one harkens back to old school wrestling. I might, I might pick this game up. If this game has online multiplayer, it'll probably, be, it'll probably seal the deal for me. But uh, Retro Mania Wrestling drops on February 26th at the end of the month. And those are the big games for February. The Switch is going to have a fantastic February. Just based off the sales of Mario 3D World alone. This game is going to carry Nintendo probably for the next two, three months. But can't wait, can't wait to pick up these games in February. Let me know what games are you going to be picking up in February on your Switch. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.